Logical. Becoming more logical involves a multi-pronged approach that focuses on structured reasoning, critical analysis, and emotional regulation. The first step in this journey is to understand the foundational principles of logic, such as deductive and inductive reasoning. For example, the scientific method, employed by researchers across disciplines, is based on logical principles that include hypothesis formulation, data collection, and interpretation. Understanding these basic tenets can enable you to evaluate arguments and theories with greater rigor. Logical thinking often starts with clear problem definition. For instance, in the field of computer science, algorithms are developed to solve well-defined problems. Before even beginning to code, a programmer will often thoroughly define the problem, breaking it down into smaller, more manageable tasks. This logical structuring makes it easier to find effective solutions. You can apply this technique to everyday challenges, whether it's planning a project at work or troubleshooting an issue with your car. Critical evaluation is another key aspect of logical thinking. This means not taking information at face value and scrutinizing its sources, context, and validity. For example, in the world of finance, investors like Warren Buffett don't just look at surface-level data. They delve into a company's fundamentals, evaluate market conditions, and only then make informed, logical decisions. You can practice this skill by always asking questions like why or how, when presented with new information or arguments. Also, be aware of logical fallacies such as ad hominem attacks or straw man arguments, which can undermine logical discourse. Emotional regulation also plays a role in logical thinking. Emotions can cloud judgment and lead to impulsive decisions. Behavioral economists like Daniel Kahneman has shown how emotional biases can lead even rational people to make illogical choices. Kahneman's work delineates between system one thinking, which is fast and emotion driven, and system two thinking, which is slow, deliberative, and logical. Being aware of these different modes of thought can help you consciously engage your logical faculties, particularly in high stakes or emotionally charged situations. Syllogistic reasoning is another tool to enhance logical thinking. This involves making conclusions based on a set of premises. For instance, in law, a prosecutor might argue that if all men are mortal, premise one, and Socrates is a man, premise two, then Socrates is mortal, conclusion. Practicing this form of reasoning can help sharpen your logical skills, making you better at constructing and deconstructing arguments. Finally, Practice is essential for becoming more logical. The more you engage in logical reasoning, the more natural it will become. You can practice by solving puzzles, engaging in debates, or even playing strategic games like chess, which require logical planning and foresight. Chess grandmasters like Magnus Carlsen are known for their extraordinary logical abilities, often planning several moves in advance and adapting their strategies based on logical analysis of the board state. To summarize, becoming more logical involves understanding the basics of logical reasoning, defining problems clearly, critically evaluating information, regulating emotions to facilitate logical thought, employing syllogistic reasoning, and consistently practicing logical thinking through various methods. By following these steps, you can enhance your capacity to think logically in both professional and personal realms.